what Maribel was trying to do. Um, Maribel was sort of a 1960s Pan-Africanist. Right? He studied in, in East Africa, he lived in Tanzania, he lived in Kenya. Uh, and he was fascinated by the, by the Malcomania, if you will, of the early 90s. What I remember him talking about is that over the last, since the mid-90s, since the late 90s until today, where is the black internationalist spirit that he grew up in, right? He knew that there's a deep love for Malcolm X within the black community, right? And just to return to ta -Nehisi, I think ta -Nehisi's book, I think the format is bold in, but ta is actually a Malcolm X, right? He's, I mean, if you look at his perspective, he writes about as a teenager, uh, he'd walk around listening to the ballad or the bullet. Right. Um, his, you know, he, he rejects some of the warm optimism of the civil rights movement. Um, he says, you know, the history bends towards chaos. That's his name. Um, so, I mean, you, you're still seeing quite a bit of interest in Malcolm. I mean, it's out there. There's a love for Malcolm out there. And what Marvel was trying to do, right, he was hoping this book would help reignite my international. Right, so he's not, not moderating Malcolm. He's blaming Malcolm as someone who, toward the end of his life, realized that politics should be channeled toward the state. Right, and nationalism is, is is very helpful. Right, forging solidarities across borders uh, can help galvanize movements domestically. You should seek support elsewhere. You should go to international institutions. But toward the end of his life, he was talking about voting. Right, using using the vote like a bullet, so to speak. Um, so that's what I believe, that's what I believe Marvel was trying to do, right? And I mean, some of the critiques, some of the criticism um, is from people who saw, I think the criticism was actually generational, right? I remember your debate with Amir and Barak on Democracy Now! It was, it was the elders debating, really. It was sort of, it was debates, holdovers of debates from the 60s and 70s, if you will, right? Um, <laughs> but that's interesting about Ta-Nehisi too, to, to, to even bolster your claim, because remember, the fire next time, besides the letter from a region of my mind, the opening form, which he took as the entire form of his book, that was only Baldwin's opening mm -hmm. uh, a few pages, mm -hmm. but the rest of that was about engaging with the Nation of Islam, and was, so it's wholly appropriate that that Baldwinian resurrection is also in part a Malcolm X-centered one as well. That's, That's exactly right. Um, my question is this, and 